Hi, I'm David Gross with Condi Systems here to talk about our latest new product line called Subless Slate. But before we get started, I'd like to cover one thing with you. When I'm talking to people of how to be successful with sublimation technology, I always ask them to remember two things. One is, how can you grow your profits with your existing clients? How can you grow your profits with your existing clients? And then number two is, how can you find new profitable clients? How can you find new profitable clients? What new markets can you go after? What new doors can you open? And so when we introduce a new product like this, it gives you a great opportunity to do, two, to do those two things. To open new doors, to show people something new and exciting. Well today, I want to introduce to you the Subless Slate line for you. Subless Slate line is a new substrate. And of course, if you've been with us for a while, you know about things like metal and glass and plastic and hardboard and all those kinds of things. And if you don't, watch the videos and you'll be introduced to them. Well, this product is slate. And what is slate? Well, it's metamorphic rock. And these are handmade, but the material, of course, comes from, from Mother Nature. And each product is, is, is chiseled to a certain size and a certain shape, and then it's coated with a white coating. So I'll show you a blank one. This is the, a large plaque. It's designed to mount on a wall. I'll show you about that just in a little bit. But you'll note that the uh, edges are rough, and these are hand chiseled edges, and then the coating tends to overspray. But as you'll see on the printed pieces, the coating actually blends in with the color. For instance, right here, you can see how so that blends in. It provides a, an excellent effect to it that I think adds value to the product. So each product, as far as the shape, does vary from time to time and a little bit because it is a hand chiseled kind of product. And so when you're building your transfer for it, you want to take into account that, that each one's going to vary just a tiny bit. Make sure your transfer will, will handle that. Should be quite easy. Shouldn't be a chore. Um, for the bigger pieces, Big pieces are designed to be mounted on the wall, um, and so they have mounting screws already in them for, for you to mount it to it, and we do provide the mounting hardware as well. So the current product line today, as, it, as it's introduced, is I think 14 pieces. Many of the pieces, or most of them, are designed for, for putting on a desk or a shelf or something like that. They come in quite a few attractive shapes to account for different types of photograph, different aspect ratio, horizontal and vertical. Um, and I think you can probably start looking, your ideas will start running through your mind of outdoor, vacation, um, so all sorts of, of great ideas as far as what would go on the slate. By the way, the slate is real slate, so it's quite heavy, and it provides a real good high value feel to it. It's a very substantial piece as opposed to maybe a wooden plaque or something like that. So, so I think your clients will, will treasure uh, the, the Subtle Slate product and, and the beauty and value that it gives um, their photographs and their graphics. Okay. Um, with the small pieces, it does come with the stand. So you can use those or come up with your own. So it got some, some um, great instant uh, uh, products for, for the desk. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to transfer. It's quite easy to transfer. Um, the transfer times for a small piece are seven minutes. For a medium-sized piece, this would be a small. For the medium-sized pieces like this, we go eight minutes. And for the large pieces, we want to go nine minutes. Now, we'll be transferring with the substrate face up, transfer face down, and the green pad on top. We use the green pad to ensure that we've got adequate uh, contact and we're diffusing the heat well into the coating. In doing the piece, first is to understand we need to print the transfer. To form your design, I recommend you download our template for whatever version of the subless slate you're using. Print out the design. Now the template will allow you to do a bleed so we make sure that the printout is bigger than the piece of subless slate. So now we're going to align the piece to the product and then put it on there with tape. Note that the mounting holes are, are in the correct orientation, so when we put it on the wall, it's going to be right. We've designed our transfer to be bigger than the sublocellate, 
And so it's very easy to make sure that we've done a good job. We look around and um, things look good. And now what we're going to do is, is fold our transfer over here and, and put a piece of heat tape to keep the transfer from moving uh, during the pressing. Okay, now we've got the design on there. We're ready to get our heat press. We've set our heat press for 400 degrees, um, set it for nine minutes. I'm going to put a piece of protected paper on the bottom of our heat press. The uh, paper is just to keep good hygiene in our press and make sure that any stray sublimation gas um, doesn't go into our bottom pad. Okay, got that there. And um, now we're going to put another piece of paper on top of here. And that's to keep the gas from getting into our green pad. That's a good habit. And now we'll put our green pad on the design. And so everything looks good here. Um, we're going to be pressing with what I would call light two-handed pressure. Uh, no need to, to jar it. So I'm going to get a feel for is my pressure set right. And it's not. So I'm going to start backing off on the pressure here while I've got one hand on the press. Um, and so got that feels pretty good there. Pretty good. So that feels nice. Okay. So I, I, I was able to close it with one hand, putting some pressure down. I'm taking my hand here. The knob can't be turned. I think that's, that's good pressure. Okay. And so we're going to cook this for nine minutes, 400 degrees. Call it light medium pressure. Um, and then we'll see what we've got. Okay, we're just about time. There's our buzzer. We're done. We're going to open the press. I like to open the press very kindly and gently, not to shake things around. And then we'll do this. By the way, uh, one thing I want to mention is that as we change our instructions, I recommend for any video that you watch that you refer to our printed instructions on the web um, because often we might tweak them to improve the product or the product might change. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove our green blanket and the blank is obviously very hot. Okay, And we've got our substrate. Um, always nice to look and see what the paper looks like and you can see variations in it occasionally. And what we're going to do is take our product and pull it over here so we can undo the heat tape. Again, always be, be careful. And you can see our product, um, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Great detail, good vibrant colors, clear image. So we're going to let it cool, and then it'll be ready for mounting. Well, I tell you what, I hope you're as excited about this new product as I am, because I think it gives us some new uh, fresh ideas, fresh substrates, unique look, high value, just a, a great way for you to take your clients' digital images and do more with them, provide a great value product for your clients. Would you let me know some of your great ideas for using this product? You can email me at degross at um, and please watch our website, watch our other YouTube videos at condytv.com. Thank you.